What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is Professor X here. I know it's been a minute since I've done a video, but um, I wanted to bring one for you. Today I'm going to share with you my top 10 fragrances that I've been reaching for this winter. So um, let's start off with the list. Um, coming at my honorable mention, and my only honorable mention is the one and only Ferragamo's F Black. My number 10 fragrance is from the house of uh, Mont Blanc, and I'm pretty sure you've all heard uh, how hype this fragrance is. It is individual. My number 8, 9 fragrance is from the, the house of Montal, and it is Honey Aoud. You get honey, cinnamon, other spices. You get the oud as well. Um, very great scent for the cold weather. Um, definitely check this out. This, this one um, surprised me because I wasn't impressed with it at first, and um, it really grew on me. Uh, so check this out. Honey Aoud at number 9. My number eight fragrance is a fragrance that is I dearly love. It is from the house of Montal and it is Intense Cafe. Rose, coffee, vanilla, patchouli. Just gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, the base could be a little bit better, but uh, it's not, still nonetheless very beautiful opening to mid. Montal Intense Cafe at number eight. Number seven is from the house of Jacques Bogart. It is a fragrance that is a bit daring, but um, I've come uh, to appreciate its beauty. Um, only thing is you have to s sample this fragrance for yourself because it's very, very potent and very sweet. And that is Bogart Pour Homme. Um, I apologize if um, for uh, any of the noise that's in the background. Uh, please apologize. I'm, I'm kind of recording this video under tight time constraints. So, um, my number six fragrance is from the house of Hani Mori, and that is HM, the Eau de Parfum version. Very, um, very great scent. Um, I would say it's a very close comparison, I would say a more, if not a more affordable alternative to Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Um, very, very clean, very classy, and very, very sophisticated. So definitely check this one out. HM Eau de Parfum at number 6. My number five fragrance comes from the house of Terry Mugler, and that is Amen Pure Tonka. Um, this is a very great lavender coffee vanilla scent. One that I hate, didn't care for at first, but has grown to love on me. I've grown to love over time. Uh, just very, very great scent. Um, um, very lasts a very long time. So, get your nose on that if you can. Number five is a fragrance from the house of Marmoth. It's, um, I guess you could joke and say it's considered the poor man's noir de noir, but it's still nonetheless a very beautiful scent. And that is Club de Nuit Intense for women. You get chocolate, you get rose, patchouli, just gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, longevity is not the greatest for me, but is still none. But you can always reapply. Um, my number three scent comes from the house of Ferragamo, and that is Uomo. Um, very one of the. I can't imagine how lovely and alluring the scent is. You just get coffee. 
basic the, you get the tiramisu note um gorgeous gorgeous scent uh only thing is like almost like with bogart poor home you have to kind of go easy on the trigger with this one so uh, umo coming at number three my number two fragrance comes from the house of uh 1821 man-made and as you all know this is the well hyped and adored sweet tobacco spirits a very gorgeous honey tobacco tonka bean scent the honey is very very masculine very good and my number one fragrance sorry my number one fragrance comes from the house of Davidoff it's the I would say it's the king that forgive me if I'm stealing somebody's punchline uh, but it's kind of the king that really doesn't try to be the king. And that is none other than Davidoff's The Game Intense. You get gin, you get patchouli, you get, you get a little bit of iris in the background, but it's a very... And also some oud in there as well. Um, very, very beautiful scent. Um, I'm sad that it's it's a bit hard to find on the internet. So Davidoff the game coming in at number one. So that's it, guys. That's my top ten winter fragrances list for um, 2017 slash 2018. I hope you enjoy this list. Um, let me know what some of your favorite winter fragrances are down in the comment section below and we can get a conversation started. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as you're browsing your way through. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Class dismissed.